hate to do this right now, but I'm going to have to have a press call first thing, and I really don't know what I'm going to tell them. Tell them Lehman exacerbated AIG? The simultaneous payouts of CDOs and credit default swaps put catastrophic pressure... Go back on. further. The global pool of investment capital... She has to do this in English. Start with the homeowners. Okay. Okay, here's how you explain it. <clears throat> Wall Street started bundling home loans together, mortgage-backed securities, and selling slices of those bundles to investors. And they were making big money. So they started pushing the lenders, saying, come on, we need more loans. The lenders are already giving loans to borrowers with good credit, so they go bottom feeding, they lower their criteria. Before, you needed a credit score of 620 and a down payment of 20%. Now they'll settle for 500, no money down. And the buyer, the regular guy on the street, assumes that the experts know what they're doing. He's saying to himself, if the bank's willing to loan me money, I must be able to afford it. So he reaches for the American dream. He buys that house. The banks knew securities based on shitbag mortgages were risky. You will work on shitbag. So to control their downside, the banks started buying a kind of insurance. If mortgages default, insurance company pays. Default swap. The banks insure their potential losses to move the risk off their books so they can invest more, make more money. Well, a lot of companies insured this stuff. One was dumb enough to take on an almost unbelievable amount of risk. AIG. And you'll work on dumb. And when they ask me why they did that? Fees. Hundreds of millions in fees. AIG figured the housing market would just keep going up. But then the unexpected happens. Housing prices go down. Poor bastard who bought his dream house. The teaser rate on his mortgage runs out. His payments go up. He defaults. Mortgage-backed securities tank. AIG has to pay off the swaps. All of them. All over the world. At the same time. AIG can't pay. AIG goes under. Every bank they insure books massive losses on the same day. And then they all go under. It all comes down. The whole financial system? And what do I say when they ask me why it wasn't regulated? No one wanted to. We were making too much money.